Hi, this is Pavel Baturin. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad you are here. In this episode, I invite you to come with me to the windy shore of the Danube before sunset, to enjoy the teeny bays, the beautiful river and to practice long exposure photography. This location is practically within the city limits, downstream of the river. In the summer, people swim, sunbath, and it's a popular, however slightly undeveloped vacation spot. And during the rest of the year, this place is popular with many fishermen. A little earlier in the spring, this entire shore was submerged by floodwaters and most of these trees were sticking out of the water. The shore was a few meters behind where the camera is standing. But even though it would have been even more beautiful this way, I didn't want to come here looking for shots because I don't like getting stuck knee-deep in mud. I hope you understand. Today I can walk along the shore here without rubber boots and I'm satisfied with this compromise. Less compositions in exchange for more comfort. So I shot with a long shutter speed, closing the ND filter to the maximum possible. The idea was exactly that, to capture these little backwaters by calming the waves with a long shutter speed. but it was still too light for completely flat water. And I found the slow shutter speed shots to be even less beautiful than shots with the same composition with a normal fast exposure. So I did both. The wind was getting stronger and stronger, so I decided to go deeper along the shore into the deeper thickets, hoping that the trees would shelter me and I would find a place where the waves would be smaller. Unfortunately, I didn't go further into the coastal thickets. I didn't want to disturb the groups of fishermen. 
or I think they were fishermen. I didn't bother to find out and I just went back to the beginning of the trail. As I make my way back through the vines and bushes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put a like under this video if you like what I do. It's very important to me and I appreciate it very much. Meanwhile, the wind was picking up, evening was coming. There were hardly any people left on the main beach, so I went back there, hoping to get some drone shots of the bridge. But my old Mini 2 was powerless against the wind and requested an emergency landing in manual mode almost immediately after takeoff. I hope this episode felt a little special to my regular viewers, and I hope to see you among them as well. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao for now.